Hello everybody, this is Mr. Cecil, and we're going to talk about today's lesson. Today we're going to learn about spice painting. Uh, some people don't have paint at their house, so I'm going to show you how to mix up your own paint at home using spices. We're going to use flour, uh, cornstarch or spice stocker, stick, dill. That's, I'm using these spices. You can use your spices however you want, but I'm using dill, uh, cinnamon, garlic, paprika, ground cloves, and garlic sriracha. I've got six bows to mix my paints in. I've got a bowl of water to rinse my brush. I've got a paintbrush. I've got a half, uh, a half cup of water. And I've got two spoons. And here is an example of painting with spices. Now I can make it, I'm hoping the next one will be better than this, but this was an experiment. Let me get this out of the way. Uh, one thing I want you to make sure you have is newspaper on your countertop because if you look at this paper, you'll see that it did bleed through onto the next paper. Okay, so I have two people or two friends that want to say hello to you. Here's Ricky Tiki. Hey girl, one, two, three, sit. Good girl, lay down. You gonna be a good girl? Okay, what? Oh, you're, she wants her cousin to come over here. Okay, here comes Stinky Winky. And we'll, let's see if she's going to do it now. One, two, three, sit. One, two, three, sit. Well, she just don't want to sit. So maybe one day we'll get her to sit. Okay, so uh, I'm going to need to get her out of here. Whoa. And let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start with a half cup of water. And I'll put in three tablespoons of flour. Okay. Okay, that's one. And two. Might be a little bit too much because our heaping is been full, but there's three. Let's close this up. Get that out of the way. Now let's get some cornstarch. I'm going to use three tablespoons of cornstarch. Okay. Oh, one. You got to be careful too. And because it comes out of this box. Okay. And that's going to be three. Oh, a little bit more than three. That's okay. And let's get this out of the way. Okay, we're going to stir this up. Now you can use a whisk if you got one or a fork. Spoon, sometimes it, it sort of sticks to the spoon, but we're gonna make it happen. Now, you don't need six bows if you don't have six spices. The six bows because they got six spices. Also, food coloring helps too. The uh, spices sometimes, they don't really give a, a good strong color, so I like to add a little bit of food coloring in it. Uh, some of the ones you can get and use that I don't have here, like one is ginger, uh, nutmeg and I think it's called thymine. Or thymine. Anyways, okay, so I got this mixed up pretty good. It almost looks like a glue. Okay, so I'm trying to get it in six equal parts. And let me get this out of the way. Okay. See, it still needs to be mixed a little bit more. Okay. Okay, almost there. Now, yeah, let's see if there's any that looks a little lower. That one needs a little bit more. This one. Now, if you've got a brother or sister that is at home, and they have to do the same project, you don't have to make two times this. You can use the same, there'll be plenty left over. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my ingredients. Now the deal, it's sort of like, uh, almost like little sticks. Uh, looks sort of like the uh, branches on evergreen trees. Oh, and we need a tablespoon of each. I'm just gonna sprinkle it in there. Okay, there's one, set that 
insecticide. Here's my favorite, it's cinnamon. And this one is one that I will not add. This one and the deal I will not add. Oh, I got the wrong side, yeah. Pop this side. Okay, I will not add any food coloring to it because this makes a nice brown. The dill makes nice for leaves and bushes. And sometimes spice is hard to get out of there, but that's okay. Okay, already starting to smell like Christmas. Okay, well, one day here. And yeah, that should be enough right there. Okay. Okay, now we use garlic. Okay. You can also, well, get mom or dad to help with this. You don't want to open it up and let it just pour out a lot in there. Okay. And now we're going to go with paprika. Now this makes a nice red, but I'm going to add red to it also. Okay. And now I've got ground cloves. Gotta open this one. Okay. And yeah, believe it or not, I'm gonna add green to this one. Mmm, it smells good in here. Now this one here, oh, I guess I should put the cap back on. You always want to put the cap on, you don't want to spill it and make a big mess. This one is like one of the stronger smelling ones. You don't need to use this. And don't use any of the really harsh uh, spices. Make sure you get with mom and dad first. Find out which ones you can use. Uh, the more powdery, the better. Like this is sort of chunky. So it won't work as good. But it'll still work. And it still adds to the smell. Okay, so I'm gonna need a paper towel. So I can mix these. Um, let's see, I think I want to start with my cinnamon first. Now when you're mixing these, it's going to end up looking like a paste. Oop. See that? So make it sort of like a uh, the consistency of like mayonnaise or something. Or okay. Now the cinnamon gets really thick, which is really good for trees. Okay, so I'll get that off. Mmm, cinnamon smells good. Okay, now let's get this one. And since this one is going to be our blue, I'm going to go ahead and mix it in right now. So I'm putting. Uh, blue in this one, it is the garlic. Two, four, five, six, seven, seven little drops. I think I just got some on the eye. Okay, oh, that's looking really good. There you go. So, this one's looking good. Okay. For some reason, I have an urge to lick the spoon. It's not icing. It's not going to taste good, so don't taste this stuff. It's just the spices. Mm, smells good. And this one, I'm going to add red to it. It's sort of like an orange brown, but I want a red, so I'm going to add red to this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, get these out of the way. Okay, and you don't have to add food coloring. That's just something I wanted to do. Uh, a lot, because I know a lot of you like really bright colors. This makes it better. Okay, might need a new uh, paper towel here in a second. Okay, let me get a new one. Okay, 
And this one here is the clothes. And it's a very earthy color, but it's like a, if you're doing a beach scene, this might be good for sand. Okay, maybe I should keep that, not add the green. Maybe I should add the green to that over there. And I want you to experiment. Uh, again, make sure it's okay with my dad. I like this color, so I'm gonna keep it the way it is. So, because I think I'll do a beach scene this time. I want you to do a landscape. And then after you do that, you can make it however you want. Uh, you can make the portrait. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, but first I want you to try landscape. And if you want to, you can make a painting of anything you want. And this will turn out really nice. Nice yellow here. Now, something I noticed is the garlic and the uh, cinnamon, it gives a better, thicker consistency with this. There's the yellow. Looks sort of like mustard. Okay, I got one more color. That's one I didn't mix up yet. And that's this one here because it looks like little branches itself. But I'm going to add some green to it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get this over here. And let's mix it up. Now, I wish I would have known about this when I was a kid because we didn't have paint. And this would have been pretty cool to be able to make my own paint to paint a picture. That's a really nice green. And you know what? That red is not red enough for me. So I'm going to change that, add a little bit more red to it. And again, it's all about your experimenting. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's see what that's going to look like. Oh, that's a little bit better. It's like a brick red. Okay, wow, I'm liking it. This paint is sort of like acrylic. Well, it's not going to stick like acrylic. It's not going to be permanent like acrylic, but it's sort of like a, a thickness of the acrylic paint. So, now when you go to paint, let's see, I'm going to lay up my palette. So I'm going to have red, yellow, and blue, my primary colors. Then I'm going to have my brown, my sand color, and my green. Now when you're painting, take at least two sheets because it's going to bleed through. And you can draw first if you want to, and then you can paint. But I'm just going to do it this way. I got my water here, so I don't uh, mix up my colors. And I think I'm going to make an ocean scene. Okay, so let me get my, my beach color first. Okay, oh. a little bit of water. You might need to add a little bit of water. Okay. So, and it's got like a, a sandy look to it. So I'm just trying to make it look like the beach. You can blot it on there. I might get a little bit more water because it's pretty thick there. Okay, there it is. Okay. And I'm not going to do this really, you know, the nice I can because I don't want to take too much of your time. I want you to get creating. Okay, so, and I can add this. I can even make a little sand castle here, like somebody, a little boy or girl's down here playing in the sand castle. Okay, let me get it up there a little bit. Get some more. Make a sand castle. Okay, there's my sand castle. But now I want to take and start my, my ocean. So let me get some blue. And let me get my blue, and I'm going to spray this out to make my water. Okay, and I can smell that garlic. Can't wait till I use my cinnamon. Okay, get some more water. Okay, now you don't have to make it as thick as I'm making it. I'm making it this thick because I want to. You can spread it out. See if I take this and get more water in there, then it's just a regular blue. But I'm trying to get it to where it's like sort of like waves out there. You can take it and 
maneuver it a little bit. Okay. There's my water. Okay. You always want to get your horizon line. Anybody know what the horizon line is? Yes, that's right. The horizon line is where the sky meets the ground, or in this case, the water, because it's a seascape. Okay, so there's my water. Okay, oh, got it on my sandcastle. Okay, let me rinse this off. Now I want to have the sun coming up right there over the horizon. Okay, oh, that's a nice yellow, I think. Oh, there's the yellow. And because it is yellow, I just want to add a touch of yellow around here. I know it's going to turn green if I get too much in there, but I want it to just like be reflecting on my, my water. Okay, now for the sky, I'm going to use the same thing, but I add some water. And then I just want to spread this out. But I also want to take and you know, put some reds up in the sky because it's like a sunset. So first let me get some blues. Okay. And let's spread that out. Let me get some red. Okay. So because it is a sunset, I'll have some, some reds up in the sky too. down into the, the water here too because it's reflecting as well get some right on the coast okay but I'm not done I want to use my cinnamon I've been waiting for this I'm gonna take my cinnamon and I'm gonna make some trees well some palm trees a little bit a little water okay so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna get it thick And this is almost like clay. It's really thick paint. And that's what I'm wanting. Because I want to have it to where it's got sort of a ball relief. Ball relief is where the, uh, the painting or the uh, sculpture comes out of the wall. So I'm sort of making it like a ball relief. I know it's not a sculpture, but I want to get that sort of look of three-dimensional space okay okay again I'm gonna try to rush this okay so looking about where I want it because I gotta add the, the palm leaves now just a little taller okay A little wider here. Okay, now I need my greens. And I'm trying to do this as fast as possible because I don't really want to waste, waste your time. Let me get some greens. And now I can do my little palm. Just come over there. This one, uh, you see how thick that is? I, I really like how thick that is. Some up here, some up here, some right here, and come out of there. And I want to put some coconuts up there. So let me get some of this. And so now I'm just going to dab it. Off here. Get some more. Dab it. Some here. Dab it. Okay. Now I could spend a lot of time with this, but I, I don't want to waste your time. Get another couple there. Okay. So 
And I think I want to put some grass down at the base of the trees. I know it's a beach, but I'm going to put some, put some vegetation growing here. Put some more on this one. Maybe put some down at the bottom. We walk up on the beach. You see how it looks like grass? Okay, almost done. Okay. So, this is painting with spices, and yes, it could be a lot better, but I didn't want to take all your time, so let me turn around here and show you. And there it is. Painting with spices. So you all have a great day. Remember, your project for this whole week is making your paints and is creating your artwork. Uh, when you're finished with your paints, you can put them in little uh, Tupperware sealed glasses or you can put them in little baggies and that way you can use them again later on. Uh, not to mention, your painting smells great, especially my favorite, the cinnamon. So, y'all take care, and they're saying bye too. See you later. Have fun.